Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss on selective reporting and misrepresentation of data. This is again part of research and publication ethics. I have already you know, prepared few videos on research and publication ethics and those are in my playlist uh, under RPE or this research and publication ethics. Uh, you may please visit those videos as well because uh, those are related with uh, uh, ethics related to scientific research and uh, on research misconduct and all sort of uh, you know uh, things. So let's start uh, today topic which uh, which is on selective reporting. So when we say selective reporting, uh, we can relate it with uh, reporting bias as well, like. Uh, you know the name itself like selective reporting so as you can see here so this is again you know when when we say result from scientific uh, research uh, are kind of deliberately not fully or accurately reported uh, why to the, do that is to like to suppress negative or undesirable finding a uh, researcher might uh, or may be doing uh, such thing so it will fall under this selective reporting and again this this will be uh, again um, unethical and um, will fall under research misconduct and when somebody does that uh, the end result is that the finding are not uh, reproducible because they have been skewed by bias during the analysis or writing stages so that uh, that we have to take into consideration that when uh, some result is in uh, in a scientific community domain or being already published and being uh, selectively reported so reproducible may not be possible again this is also called as uh, outcome reporting bias and this selective reporting is one of the most common problem in research so when we talk about this and when we uh, discuss the different types of uh, biases that exist so one of it can be a uh, design bias so this bias basically you know begins as the research team create the process in which the experiment will be performed so this is where you can see there like the team is creating the process and then they being you know uh, kind of starting the experiment and if there is not a wide enough selection of demographic or let's say wide enough or large population uh, like if we take uh, an example uh, let's say healthcare related then you can uh, think for the data set if they are using some standard data set so if we are not doing such kind of thing if it is of limited or small you know group of uh, set or let's say data or you know population then uh, this design bias could exist then uh, procedural bias so here also once the design is approved whichever design uh, the experiment has to you know go through that is approved then the procedure can begin uh, to be implemented and and during this particular time procedural bias can occur when a researcher decides that the next step in the experiment should go in a predetermined way so when we are talking about a predetermined way so you are leading into procedural bias related with the procedure that to be followed for that particular experimentation so this is again um, uh, there and when we are talking about personal bias so this is one of the most difficult type of biases to avoid because these are related to it uh, researcher character and uh, many of the time researcher or let's say scholar involved with uh, their teammate with that uh, you know person having th those sort of personal bias they may not able to recognize it or even it is very difficult to avoid uh, also so let's uh, talk about uh, the research evidence dissemination so when we talk about the disseminating uh, your research finding then We'll be talking about the uh, scientific research and then we're talking about the selective reporting so once we're talk uh, once you have selected a portion or frame of uh, set uh, which you like to you know report or you like to study and work on that and so that will lead to 
reporting bias. So it is kind of selective or fragmented work that you are looking into and you are, you know, uh, producing your result on it. And then you can have selective publication as well, where many of the cases uh, we have, uh, you know, seen like cases where uh, people they talk about it, this particular work is not uh, suitable for a journal and this can be gone for pub, uh, conference proceeding or let's say abstract uh, a publication uh, in a proceeding then they are also we are doing selective kind of publication where uh, that will lead to publication bias because whenever we talk about publication it uh, you you cannot you know quantify or you know make kind of uh, qualification or quantification in uh, the data or result or let's say your work which you have already uh, completed so whether it can be conference in general uh, the weightage in terms of your research finding has to be kind of same so that the publication bias may not uh, occur and next is kind of when we're talking about inclusion of a research database let's say uh, review or uh, the review searches that you are performing for your research work there also uh, people might or may do such kind of thing where they will be selecting a set of you know let's say uh, literature or you know which they are comfortable with or let's say the finding which they have achieved are in line to uh, those where uh, they can easily compare with the existing work and they might exclude uh, uh, let's say recent finding where they might uh, lead this to inclusion bias or let's say databases also many of the time when we do a literature review or let's say uh, reviewing of a paper we've we have seen cases where uh, author they work on you know uh, databases which are non-existence in few cases or let's say outdated or or not you know uh, properly being cited from where the databases come and uh, they being advised to use different databases so as to a comparison might uh, happen or a cross validation can take place so that is where you know research databases uh, also need to be taken into consideration that uh, the work that you have uh, designed has to be you know reproducible in all a uh, sort of or uh, all a uh, frame of uh, databases so this is where uh, the dissemination bias occur like uh, adding this uh, reporting bias then publication bias and the inclusion bias can lead to this dissemination bias and now the the other part of it is the misrepresentation of data so when we talk about misrepresentation of data so kind of we can say like communicating honestly reported data in a deceptive manner which uh, in other way uh, you can say misleading interpretation somewhere you can have uh, misinterpreted interpreting the data and then we can say un uh, you know founded uh, extrapolation also in few cases when we're talking about uh, set or population and then uh, kind of ignoring you know different limitation which uh, which might lead to a misrepresentation of data so this uh, might be cause or reason for misrepresentation of data so now just to uh, summarize uh, about when we talk about uh, you know a work that has been framed in a proper protocol or statistical report has been obtained and when we compare with uh, a accurate article or let's say um, the article uh, the original article or which uh, has to be there in an article along with a distorted article so the comparison you can make with uh, the method result or let's say interpretation so when we talk about methods so the report uh, that pre-specified methods or, or derivation from in the, from this set of protocol has to be included in the accurate article so as the result and the interpretation has to be focused on pre-specified uh, like the primary analysis appropriate interference has to be there and you know you have to highlight the limitation and um, uh, and also you have to exclude or caution has to be taken to avoid misinterpretation or inadequate 
uh, extrapolation sort of thing in accurate article whereas when we look into the distorted article you can see you have here is misreporting uh, the method or we can have here is misreporting of result and misinterpretation as well so all sort of thing might happen in when we compare with a distorted article so the distorted article again it can be due to uh, negligence also in few cases or it can be done uh, knowingly to achieve a desirable finding or to to in order to do the beautification as you can see here in the methods also so uh, so that to be avoided because ultimately you know when the reader has gone through that they they can easily find out if they they found that it is not reproducible and we have already discussed on this where where a duplicate publication or redundant publication if somebody has done and reader has gone through it and have uh, reported like uh, if you follow the cope guideline that also i have uh, discussed uh, i have kept in the i button or you can visit the playlist also uh, so thank you for watching this video and thank you everyone please do like uh, share and you know comment uh, if you have any sort of query uh, thank you